You may be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is the case of Wilson versus Felix Brown. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Good day. Yeah. Ms. Wilson, your son died tragically just one month ago. Yes, ma'am. Uh, you say that since then, a flood of women have come forward with claims that he fathered their children. But you believe they are trying to pin their children on your son in an effort to get Social Security benefits. Is that correct? Yes, ma'am. Ms. Felix and Ms. Brown, you both state that you are 100% sure that Mrs. Wilson's deceased son, Mr. Marquette Dames, is the biological father of your children and are fully entitled to survivor's benefits. Is that correct? Yes, yes Your Honor. Honor. So, Mrs. Wilson, tell us what happened. Well, he got uh, gunned down on uh, July 6th. So, it's, it's really hard for me because all I do is cry. Yes. All I do is cry. When they took him, they took a part of me, too. They ripped my heart out. I just buried him July 30th. You know, and it's not easy for me as a mom losing a son, and I just want to know who's his kids, who's not his kids, because everybody's talking about they got kids, and I only want to know so I can have closure for myself. How many women? It's, it's 11 people. Whoa. We're talking 11 kids here. So... Oh, my goodness. It's, it's not just these two young ladies, you know. It, it's other women that's, like, literally inboxing me. How old is your child? My child is two. And, and Ms. Felix, how old is your child? Three. All right. I want to start with you. And I want to understand the circumstances surrounding your child. Yes, ma'am. And was Marquette a part of your child's life? Yes. He was a complete part of her life. He was there when I was pregnant. He made sure I was doing right while I was pregnant. He was the one providing me the food. He went to every doctor's appointment. He was there throughout the whole thing. She also knew about it. Um, she used to come to my house. We used to play cards, you know, and hang out. So we were in a serious relationship, and she knows it. So are you wondering now why she's questioning the paternity? Yes, I am. I am. I am very much wondering because I don't understand why someone would do all the things you did for my daughter and then be questioning her paternity. What at kind the of same things time. did she do? Like, she was in our wedding. She helped me name my daughter. She was there when I had my daughter. She was there through the whole entire thing, and I had no clue at all that she had questions or doubts about her at all. Not at all. So, like... <laughs> what would you like to add, Ms. Wilson? First of all, I could, my son confided in me, and I promised my son I wouldn't say anything. Before my son died, we was talking for the past six months before he passed away. He had doubt about several kids. Her baby was one. Darielle Baby was the next one. Oh. So he told me not to say anything in this, to anybody about it. So I kept it a secret between him and I. Understood. I held my son's body for over two weeks. It took 24 days for me to put my son in the ground. I saved my son just for you guys to get DNA from him so that we could find out who's kin, who's not. That's not easy. And you had to do all of this. You had to wait this amount of time because you were committed to so, allowing the coroner to have the opportunity to collect the DNA right. so that you could get these tests done. Right. So you could pretty much answer the questions, questions that your son confided in you. Right. These two right here, before he even got buried in the ground, called the Social Security office to get claims. Wow. He wasn't even in the ground. And was Funeral arrangements wasn't even ready. They wasn't even put in place. And these two did that. Mm. I didn't hold it against them. I didn't hold it against them at all. Because guess what? At the end of the day, this is my child. It ain't their child. They didn't care about my grief at that present time. They didn't care because it was all about the money to them. It's not all about him. <laughs> I didn't, I, first off, I had no clue. You were supposed to wait till someone was buried to get Social Security, okay? I didn't know you had to wait. And... He was paying child support for my baby anyway, okay? Oh. So, and the oh. fact that it upsets her, I'm wondering, why does it upset you so much if I went down there anyway? Like, are you gonna get it if I don't claim it? Are you worried about them not getting the money? Like, what is your problem? I don't understand. They so, don't love him like we do, because if you loved him, you'd at least wait until he got buried in the ground before you went down there to do all that. Okay, okay, okay. That's a fact. Okay. And so... What exactly did he say about Miss Felix's child? He said that the reason why he had doubt because he was gone away for four or five months 
And when he got back, uh, she said she was three months pregnant. That's, that's what he told me. But I never said anything. I just... He wanted you to keep that a secret. secret it was between, between you. me and him. And I said, well, I'll tell you what, since you feel like that, why don't we just do DNA testing on all of them? I don't believe he told her that. She just started doubting him after his death. I got this a witness. All, That's all true. this came about not after he passed away. No, nope. all of true. this. All I got a witness. Yeah, true. All of this came all right. after he passed. I'd like to hear from your witness, man. I got a witness. Please right stand. There. That told, he told her the same thing mm-hmm. and her mama. So mm-hmm. I saw state your name know for the here. court, ma'am. Charnell Turner. And Miss Turner, you are his cousin. You are Mr. Dame's cousin. Yes. What do you know about this? Um, when. Marquette came. He stayed with me for about a month. He was like, hey, Nelly, guess what? I'm having another baby. So I was like, oh, you're having another baby? He's like, yeah, but he's like, I don't know if it's mine or not. So I was like, what do you mean? He was like, because I was gone for like six months and he was like, she told me that she was pregnant, but he's like, I also know that she cheated on me. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. I didn't hear anything about any doubt until this vigil happened. And I highly doubt that he actually told them that, you know, but even though, you know, on the obituary that they did, you know, they completely changed all the kids' names on the obituary. I'd I like to get, see that. Yes. This um, is evidence You gave that... them all different names, but I don't believe there was any doubt until that boy passed away. I don't believe he told them that because me and Marquette were friends, and he could have told me that if he actually felt that way, and he knows that. Mm-hmm. I don't believe he told them that. Excuse me. I think she's doubting him. I think she's doubting my baby, all because of the money. You don't went to the social Honestly. No. She, and that's so, it. Yeah. this evidence that you presented to the court, uh, it's the obituary yes. for Marquette... Antoine Dames, and it says, Marquette leaves to cherish his memory, loving and devoted mothers, Elizabeth Simon Wilson, six children, Marquila Felix, mm-hmm. Josiah Brown. Mm-hmm. Right. And his name is Josiah Dames. Uh, and her name is Marquila Dames. Excuse me. They don't know what they're talking about because I wasn't the one that wrote it. And I was the one that said not to put them names in there because you don't know who can, who not can. And from what I was told, her baby name was Felix. And from what I was told, her baby wasn't even her last you name. Knew... It was, it was another man. Now, nah, listen, man, you lying. No, I'm, I'm you lying. Oh, I'm lying? You yes. are. I'm lying? You, you are. got that baby calling you somebody are. else daddy. I, he... Lady. I don't like you anyway. You, you know don't that I don't like, like me. Lady. You're, you're not lady. 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 respect. Let's Look, get girl. some order. Miss Brown, have a seat. Next have a step. seat. Have a seat. I'm a very emotional person right now. I have not grieved my son since he died because guess what? I'm trying to deal with other stuff. I just want to know who can, who not. I don't need all that extra activity. I don't need all that extra curriculum. My son gone. They got their kids. Okay, I'm missing a child. That's wrong, you know what I'm saying? I'm just only trying to find out the truth. Miss Felix, does... Marquila know her daddy's missing. She's used to seeing him. Has she asked for him? Every day. And have you found a way or, or have you even told her yet or are you just still saying he's not here? I talk to her. I show her pictures. I tell him. I tell her, you know, he's in her heart, you know, but that you can't see daddy. When it got to Darielle, baby, I never took part of Darielle Baby since day one. And when she brought that kid to my house, I told her that baby looks just like her. He doesn't look like my son. I told those what the words I told her out my own mouth. I never had any parts with that baby, period. So, you know, and I told my son that she would be the last birth certificate that he ever signed because if he signed another one, we won't have a serious problem because you're going around signing your name on these birth certificates and you don't know if these kids are yours and you could be signing your life away and then it'd be somebody else's child. Okay. Understood. Ms. Brown, I'd like you to stand now because I would like to talk about Josiah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So, I'd like to hear from you. Okay. The relationship that Marquette had with your child? Okay, um, Marquette, he came to me about me being pregnant, actually. Uh, we were staying with one of his family members at the time. 
And were um, you in a relationship with him? I was in a relationship with him. We, we moved pretty quickly, but we indeed were in a relationship. He claimed it and I claimed it. So we moved forward. Like I said, he came to me about me being pregnant. So with the bug being planted in my ear, I went ahead, set the appointment. Him and his family member took me to the appointment. Um, found out that I was pregnant. I found out I was pregnant July 15th. He took and rolled with it. He never questioned, never doubted. When um, he didn't quite come to the doctor's appointments, cause you know, he was living his life, doing his own thing. During the time, you know, around that time too, we had them broken apart. So, but he always kept in check, always made, you know, sure to check up on me. Um, when I told him I was getting ready to go into labor, he was there within 10 minutes after I came to the hospital and he stayed the entire time. Did um, he sign the birth certificate for he Josiah? Did. He did. He did. And Josiah has his last name as he well. He does. Marquette has never questioned Josiah from the moment I told him I was pregnant. And Josiah is two. He is two. Were you receiving child support as well? Nope. You were not? We're not. And what relationship did Josiah have with Ms. Wilson and her family? Uh, none. I actually brought him to see her a few times. She always acted uninterested. So after a while, I just stopped bringing him around. Ms. Wilson, why did you act? like you weren't interested. Why did you doubt Josiah? Cause I just felt like Josiah wasn't his, personally. That when was... you looked at the child? When I looked at him, he had nothing of my son. I said, it ain't his. And I told him that day one, when I seen that baby, that they didn't have no resemblance at all. And she has him um, calling another man, daddy. I do. I'm not doubting that at all. And why is that? Because Marquette was in the streets. Uh, now, my son, he do acknowledge somebody else as his father. Is that someone well, you're in a relationship with? Um, no, but he does help me out. He helped me out, make sure he eat. He watches him while I go to work. He makes sure he goes to school. And your son now has started to call him daddy. Right. But he doesn't that create confusion mm -hmm. for the child and for the family you want to accept the child? Mm -hmm. No, she, yeah. they never wanted to be a part mm -hmm. until he was dead, like she stated. She has been had other men in her life. She stayed with me, she stayed with my sister. She's had other men in her life. Okay, family now friend, I'm getting, cause I could not understand. A family friend came over and told me and my husband of how he was dealing with her and how other men were dealing with her. And one day, I followed her myself and watched her get in and out of this van, the same person that she was dealing with before she dealt with my son. So that's why I don't and believe that. And it's the same that. person okay. I'm dealing with now. So what's same your point? Person. It's the same that's person. That's the daddy. What's the, what's that's the, the point? That's the daddy. If that was the daddy, it would look like him. You go, oh, girl, you just want to bring up That baby looks point. like you. Right, same before we, girl. listen, it's listen, listen, before we go, thank you. before we go in the wrong direction, what would you like to add, Ms. Turner? If the results come back, if, if they are, then, I mean, we just want to know. That's all that we have left. Yeah, I told I mean, Ms. Wilson, what I are you hoping that. for? I, I, I hope that they are his, you know, because that will give me some closure. At least I know that he, what he left behind so I could be able to take up the slack that he's not able to take care of. All right. That was the purpose of it. Well, not for we are here stuff. to get answers, yes, and I have those answers for Thank you. you. Ms. Felix, I will read the results for Marquila first. Ms. Brown, you may have a seat. All right. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Wilson versus Felix Brown, when it comes to three-year-old Markeela Danes, it has been determined by this court, Mr. Danes is the father. Sorry about that, Louis. I will be a part of her life. All right. Do you want to watch Paternity Court on TV? Go to paternitycourt.tv to find your local listings. Ms. Brown, please stand. In the case of Wilson versus Felix Brown, when it comes to two-year-old Josiah Dames, 
It has been determined by this court. Mr. Dames is the father. You all are still processing the fact that your children will grow up without knowing their dad. That's right. It's true. I'm sorry if you felt like I did you know, hurt, but I love you regardless. We still don't keep our relationship. I don't want no hug from you. you I'm going to be honest you with either. you. I don't want no hug See, that's from exactly you. why I don't, I don't like you, because you're nasty. You don't have listen. to like me. That's exactly why I you don't, don't like her, because like she's nasty. Listen. That's exactly why I don't like you. You don't got Your attitude stinks. Listen. And when you learn to respect adults, you'll be a better woman. Mm -hmm. Ladies, in this moment, Ms. Brown was not ready. She ain't going to never be and, ready. And, and listen... I hope for Josiah's sake, you will come around. And I think, Ms. Felix and Ms. Brown, as you think about the love you have for your child when you look at that child, I think if you think about what Ms. Wilson has gone through, the thought, if you could just picture in your mind how you would feel one day if that child was not there and you could not lay hands on that child, talk to that child. It's an unthinkable pain. And so yeah. maybe with time, you can give her a little bit of understanding and maybe forgiveness and hopefully try to move forward. We have counseling and resources for you all. Take advantage of it. Figure out how to be a part of one another's lives, but more importantly, form a village for these children, all right? Yes, I wish you the very best of luck, and I'm so very sorry for your loss. Thank you so much. Court is adjourned.